So anyway, I was out the other night and I was talking to a long-time viewer, long-time subscriber and good friend of mine, Colin. Now Colin, I know you're watching this and I know you'll be really pleased that I've actually mentioned you this time. Now Colin has previously in the past donated oh, numerous things to me to use on the channel or in the garage on the cars. Uh, I'm sure I mentioned when I was on about doing the garage roof that uh, he had donated a, a fair amount of old wood that was left over from uh, the area that he's in. He didn't need any more, it was no longer usable. So he passed it over to me and it came in handy on a couple of parts of the roof down there. And there's a couple of the bits left over, which will come in handy for something else at a later date. He's also donated to us and given us uh, an old radio for the Cortina and the courtesy light goes in front of the rear view mirror or just above the rear view mirror on the Cortina as well. Haven't used those yet. We'll get at that when we start doing something on the Cortina. But the latest thing he's done, it's absolutely fantastic. You may recall, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just trying to, well, actually, let me show you what I'm just trying to do. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of the mess that's uh, lying around on the floor. Because my idea is that space in there, you can see, which I'm going to store that for now. So that's what I'm doing. You know what the scrapey noises are? It's me trying to sweep up all this rubbish that's left over from the original roof. And I've got to get over there and get all of that out of there as well. But that's what I'm doing. If you hear any sweeping noises or scraping noises, that's me. Now, there is some noise going on in the background as well uh, from outside. So if you do hear any background noise, any hammering, drilling, wagons, etc. You have to forgive that at the moment temporarily. The um, the road over there is closed. Uh, apparently there's a, a bunch of council people here busy working on the road. There's some issues with the road close to where the house is. Apparently uh, it's something to do with potholes. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. But what they've said is that we haven't got enough, so they're making us some more. But as I was saying, um, one of the best things that uh, Colin... I mean, exceptionally generous, really generous. You may remember me saying in uh, in one of the past videos with regards to the garage roof, there's a couple of holes or a few holes in, you can see when the sun's shining uh, with regards to where the holes were pre-drilled by the factory for the panel's original use. I didn't use those holes and now it's left gaps up there. And I was wondering how I could fill those or what I could use to fill those successfully because I will admit I did make a slight error there was a slight flaw in my plans in as much as I want to get the roof on as quickly as possible and in getting the roof on I just did all the woodwork and I put all the panels on what I should have done was fill those holes as I was putting the panels on now I didn't do that so as a result of that I've now got an entire roof that I need to do something with so while I was having a look around on the internet to see if there was anything out there that was going to be easy to use that I could use Colin's obviously watched the video where I said I needed to find something to fill those holes in. And he's actually donated to me, given to me, one of these. Now, this is not your ordinary tin of paint. This is a tin of flag roof fix, if you can say that now. Never heard of it before. No idea where it is or what it was used for. Didn't even know it existed, to be fair. So after I got them off Colin, and he, he said to me, it has some kind of um, strands of something in there and it's quite thick and it's to fill in holes so i did the right thing and i came home and had a quick look on youtube as you do and there's a couple of videos on there about it and it shows you how to use it and oh my god it looks fantastic so he's actually given us three tins of that there's five leaves on a tin so roughly a gallon give or take so i've got three gallon of um of that roof fix paint and apparently one tin will cover five meters so i've got enough to cover 15 meters once it's on there and it hardens and dries it's good for 10 years apparently so that'll um that'll help with the roof on the on the panels on the roof that need the gaps filling the ceiling any holes blocking so that'll be absolutely perfect for that but i, I just wanted to put this video out because i felt that with it being such a generous thing that he's offered uh I couldn't just take it and say thank you to him personally. I wanted to actually uh, name him on the channel and do a, a little video to show me appreciation and uh, say thank you. Like I say, he's, a, he's well and truly a long-term viewer of the channel as well as being uh, a long-term subscriber, I think. 
if I remember correctly, when I first told people I was uh, I was starting a YouTube channel, um, and they didn't laugh at us in the way that I thought they would. I think he's one of the original subscribers of the channel from the early days. You know, back when nobody watched anything that I put on there, and uh, and I only had a handful or a dozen subscribers, which is vastly different to the way it is now. So. Thanks very much for that, Colin. Exceptionally generous. Really appreciate it. And as soon as the weather's brightened up a little bit better, because it looks as though it's threatening rain outside a little bit, I'll um, I'll make full use of that and we'll seal the roof up properly. Once again, thanks very much, Colin.